Tutorial number eight. Let's start a new sketch on top plane. Now let's go to the next sketch tool, the arc. If you expand the menu, you have three different types of arcs. And this time you don't need to draw a whole circle. You can just draw your arcs. So let's try to make a center point rectangle in the origin. And now let's activate the three points arc. So here you see the three points arc shaded in here and you can see a hint how you can use that or where you place your points the first point second point and third point so here you can select first point and second point now you can specify the radius of your arc so you are done click there so you are done so the second time is the two points arc and this time you are not able to change in this case two points you are not able to change in the radius of your arc so you have only one choice will be defined to be as a tangent so let's select this two point first point second point Let's try. So here you, you see your your arc. So you can select a different place. You are able to see your arc. So here is your arc. So it gives you an arc with the radius between these two points. So this is the only way to get that arc. Let's try to use it with two lines here. Let's select the two points arc. Select this point, this point. So this is your arc. And you have a third type where you can choose your center point. Your center point then start to draw an arc from that center point now let's move to polygon is also quite easy to use polygon and then choose the number of edges three if you select three simply you're going to create a rectangle so this is a very fast way to use polygon to create a very fast rectangle and there is two options to make it outside the circuit or inside the circuit here you can change the number of your polygons edges and then one thing you can add the dimension for your polygon and one thing I want to say if you want to define it you can select one of the edges Let's activate the smart dimension select one edges uh, the relation make horizontal then make this point to the origin center point so you define your polygon so this is a way how to define your polygons